I've been out here in this national forest here for the better part of about three weeks and uh, today we're gonna do a little bit of laundry and talk a little bit about bathing in the creek. My name's Donovan Thurman. Join me and my dog Remy as we travel off the beaten path in my trusty old Subaru. So I think we'll go ahead and start with the, the laundry side of things. I basically just brought my chair to have something to sit on. And uh, my laundry method is pretty simple. I usually just try and find a flat spot. I've used the hood of my car. Um, I have a little table I could use too, but down here by the creek, there's a little log, so I'll probably just use that. This little bucket, uh, I actually use for both um, bathing and the laundry, but it'll work just the same. I've got my bag of dirty clothes here. This is actually a stuff sack for my sleeping bag. And uh, I store my sleeping bag in a different spot, so I use this for my dirty laundry. But um, for the laundry, what I'm gonna need is the bucket. I actually use the same stuff that I wash myself with. This is um, kind of like the hospital body wash shampoo. Uh, if you um, if you dilute it with water, then you don't have to, it becomes like a no rinse body wash. I just use a tiny bit of this in this bucket with some water and uh, and this scrubber to scrub the clothes. Especially like my jeans, they get you know kind of stained and dirty pretty easily. But basically, what we're gonna do is fill up this bucket with water, add a tiny bit of that soap, and uh, I kind of just dunk my clothes and um, agitate them by hand, and then wring them out the best I can, and then we'll uh, find a spot for them to dry. We'll probably hang them back up at uh, up at camp or on a clothesline. The, I like to do the laundry kind of earlier in the day because it gives plenty of time for them to dry. I just wring them out by hand, so it's, um, not like the best method for wringing out clothes but it does work but it takes a little bit longer for them to dry so it's probably like 7 a.m um I, I don't need to start this early but I'll, I'll go ahead and do it anyway so let's go ahead and do the laundry and then when we're done with the laundry i'll talk a little bit about uh taking baths in the creek So we'll go ahead and just uh, grab this pair of shorts here. The other thing, uh, if this is like your full-time thing, and I've been out here for you know like three weeks, uh, I found that, man, the more nylon synthetic things you have, the way easier your laundry is because my jeans obviously take a very long time to dry. Um, I don't actually like wearing them that much out here just because, well, it's summertime, it's been kind of hot, but man, they get dirty fast, they look really dingy, very easily and yeah they're just a pain to wash but I'll go ahead and take these and uh, and just dunk them in here no I am NOT putting this water this soap water even though it's very diluted it does not go back into the creek um, absolutely not <laughs> there's no yeah just uh, no situations where soap goes in the creek um, a lot of soaps are marketed as biodegradable, environmentally friendly, what have you. Uh, soap does not go back in the water. That's why I have this bucket. Um, actually, I have another bucket. I should have brought down here so I can scoop fresh water without dunking this bucket in the creek and I'll probably have to go back up and get it. But this is basically it. I just kind of roll it in there. Again, this is really diluted soap, so I'm not too worried about actually rinsing it all that well. Um, if it's good enough to be diluted and be on your on your skin without rinsing off, it's probably fine for your clothes. So, there we go. All right. So, and so I just kind of, it's that easy. I just scrub it around, and if a, spe if a specific item, oh, and I'll show you when I get to my jeans, looks really dirty or has a stain on it, that's when I'll grab that scrub brush and I'll kind of set it on the log over there and, and give a, a decent scrubbing. But man, just look at that water already. It doesn't take a whole lot more than that 
So I can wring these out a little bit better, but I'm gonna move on. And I try my best to get the water wrung back into the bucket, just again, to avoid any contamination there. There we go. So look at that water already. That's just the first pair. So I, I'm, a, I'm actually gonna go up and get that second bucket. And uh, I'll use, use this water a few more times, and then I'll take it away from the creek uh, to dump it. We'll just uh, keep going one, one piece at a time. All right, so here's my other bucket. Like I said, I'm gonna use this to fetch clean water from the river. And this soapy water, once I wash a few things, I'll take it up far away from the creek and probably dump it in a little cat hole or something. And you just, you don't want soapy water in the creek, bar none, doesn't matter. Any biodegradable soap, Dawn dish soap has a picture of a cute little baby duck and they save the earth from oil spills But that's just because Dawn dish soap is a good degreaser. It's not because it's good for the environment um, Anyway, yeah Nope Ram me no, this is not drinking water Ram me no drink some water from the creek Keep some water from the creek You think you're helping? And I'll tell you what, if you are full-time camping, boondocking or something, uh, there's better ways to do <laughs> laundry, you know, there's portable washing machines, bucket with a plunger. I don't have a lot of space in my car to be hauling around all that kind of stuff, so these collapsible buckets work fine. Um, you could do one of these small buckets with a larger collapsible wash tub. Um, in fact, I'd probably like to switch to something like that. This is definitely effective. This will be about my third time doing laundry. I don't have a lot of clothes. I basically have one suitcase that's about the size of a carry-on suitcase. Well, it is a carry-on suitcase. And uh, when I got rid of all my stuff to get ready to travel, I basically did all my laundry filled up my suitcase and whatever wouldn't fit, I donated it. So um, I have to do laundry a little bit more often because I just don't have as much. But it's the same thing, simple process. Just a little time consuming. Now again, I'm getting fresh water with a separate bucket because this bucket had soap in it. So we're doing, I'm doing, you know, you gotta do the best you can to just not get any crap in the water. Add just a little bit more. And you know, this is hospital soap, no rinse, body wash, whatever. Uh, I've actually found it does an okay job at getting the smell out of clothes. Um, obviously, it's not going to be a you know smell like Tide or anything when you're done, um, but at the very least, it gets rid of you know funky body odor smells. And and then if you want it to smell kind of fresher, you can use um, you know whatever kind of a, a spray for breeze kind of a thing you want. Um, I actually keep a little like sachet inside my suitcase kind of keep a little bit of a fresh scent in there <laughs> yeah yeah maybe the log wasn't a fantastic idea but whatever i'm just gonna keep <laughs> I'm gonna keep losing my balance. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going on this laundry when we're done, then we'll talk about uh, taking a bath. All right, well, these socks here are the last things that I'm, I'm washing, and then I'm going to actually wash this shirt and these shorts that I'm wearing, and then hop into the creek. I'm not sure if I specify my ringing technique here. I actually kind of just wad up the clothes and then just kind of work my way down in a line. 
again trying my hardest to keep it all going back into the bucket as best I can. I don't want to catch you all trying to sneak a peek here, so maybe I'll just, uh, I'm just washing my shorts. So, luckily for me, this creek is fairly shallow, so the water's not freezing cold. But uh, this is basically all I'm going to be doing in the creek. Now, this is a like a shower scrubber that, you're, that you put a bar of soap in. There's no soap in here. Like I said, no soap goes in the creek whatsoever. Here you go. No soap. There it is inside out. This is just the scrubber. This is all I'm gonna use. So we're just scrubbing. Just, just getting the worst of it all. Camera battery died. I just had to sprint back to the car in my underwear. So, hey, if you're doing videos and doing laundry, bring extra batteries. I'm gonna give uh, some more sensitive areas a bit of a scrubbing, so, uh, but you guys don't gotta watch that. We're basically just gonna be repeating the process that we did with the laundry using this soap in the blue bucket, scooping clean creek water with the gray bucket and pouring it into here, not dipping the soap bucket in the creek whatsoever. Once you have soap and water in the bucket, I use this little camp towel. This is actually one of those cooling towels you're supposed to get wet and like snap it and it's cold. Uh, but it's basically just a chamois. When you do the soap and this little towel, basically you get one big baby wipe that you can reuse. So saves you some money on doing baby wipe baths. So basically here's where I go and just kind of wipe myself down. Get the pits real good. All that, pull it over. Wipe your face, your hair. Remember, always wash behind the ears. And I'll tell you what, this feels amazing. You know, baby wipe baths feel great. This is a, this is even better. I think you get the idea. Wipe yourself down. And again, since this is diluted, you don't have to rinse it off. Some of you might be wondering, why not just use like a camp shower? Um, and if you have a solar shower or something, that's definitely an option. Um, you know, you can go for it if you want to. Uh, I actually have a 12 volt um, sprayer in the back of my car that I can shower with. Problem is a gallon of water is gone like that. Uh, this thing saves a lot of water and uh, it's not that big of a deal for me. And uh, I find myself not really breaking out my 12 volt shower all that often. So now I'm just gonna grab some rope and make a clothesline. And it's gonna be like 89 today, so my clothes should dry pretty quickly. So, once again, I'm just gonna go for the old stick toggle kind of method. Kind of like a clove hitch there. And I've been liking, uh, trying to kind of, trying to hang things at kind of an angle so that less fabric touches each other. You can see, just a little bit of shaking, most of those grass seeds did fall off. So now that I'm back, um, you might be wondering, well, I don't really want to smell like baby wipes. That's when I go ahead and just put on like a deodorant. This stuff here is just kind of your generic gel. I don't usually go for gel, um, but you know, whatever. Normal smelling deodorant. I really like this stuff here. This is a uh, Method Men Cedar and Cypress aluminum free, somewhat of a nicer um, deodorant. Um, both are fine, whatever. This is when I would put on my traditional smelling <laughs> you know, deodorants and things. All right, so there it is. Clothes are all hanging up to dry. I'm clean. The only thing I wish is that I could shave. My clippers don't quite have enough grunt with my inverter. They end up just kind of ripping hair, so I'm still looking kind of scruffy, but yeah, 
we'll figure that out later. So anyways, that is how I've been washing and uh, doing my laundry out here in the woods. I've been dispersed camping for about the last three weeks and uh, this is what's been working out for me so far. Uh, go ahead and let me know if you have any other ideas or tips for other people that might be helpful down in the comments and uh, I will see you guys on the next video. If you like to follow along with the rest of our adventures, make sure to subscribe and to make sure you don't miss out on any other videos, click the notification bell as well.